Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new video. I hope you're doing fantastic. If you're brand new, be sure you subscribe today. We're watching Ryan Garcia video, man. So he's fighting next week against Javonte Tank Davis, man. You know, the southpaw, the short southpaw with tattoos all over his body, man. So I'm excited for that. So let's watch and see what Ryan's got for us. LA, eh? So for this camp, yeah, any shit. given day, no shit, Ryan eh? wakes up. <laughs> and he runs like Forrest Gump. Oh, I like that. I'm he doesn't doing have that. to. But he does. She bro, this guy looks fit, man. I ran without a t shirt. And I don't know how long. <laughs> I forgot how easy it was without a sound of suit. Javante, uh, I'm coming for you. Dude, I actually used to wear a swan suit too, bro. <laughs> Good man, he's getting all his road work in. That's what you want to see. Miles you know what I'm saying? Day. Taking it serious. Sometimes more. That's what we need, bro. Nevertheless. I start off my day with running because it helps me my mentality and just helps me think about things. It's really good for my mental health as well. I need to cut weight, so running is the best form of cutting weight for me. How many miles was that, right? Eight miles, man. You know what sort of pace you got? Yeah. But it was fast. Eight miles. Yeah. How you feel? Mate. He said seven punches not gonna do it. I said if you didn't put in the contract that I can't throw more than seven punches, then I throw more than that. <laughs> Let's see how mad he gets. You think that uh, Javante knows you're gonna throw punches? I think so. Now that he knows that I'm able to throw my right hand, that it's no longer in the contract anymore that I can't throw it. I had to work hard, but I got it out of the contract. Wait, what? It was a contract that you couldn't throw his right hand. Wait, what? <laughs> Why is this guy serious? Contract, I can throw my right hand now. <laughs> awesome. I was willing to go in there with one hand. It's very confident, but now with two, it's almost like it should be a walk in the park. <laughs> Dude, bro, that's confident. You know what I'm saying? That's what I like to see. But Javonte is good enough all, almost all his opponents, you know what I'm saying? So is Ryan, so Ryan is good enough all his opponents too. So both guys are undefeated, you know what I'm saying? Both guys, the mentality, they don't want to, they haven't lost, they don't want to lose, you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, I was just watching Javonte Davis and uh, Rolly Romero. That was a good knockout, you know what I'm saying? But And then, yeah. And I also watched Ryan Garcia, Emmanuel Tego. He couldn't get Tego out of there, you know what I'm saying? Because Tego was moving so much. Strength and conditioning. He has boxing. And he gives 150% to those workouts as well. And this is every day. Every day, that's good. This cool, is man. bare minimum we're talking about. His focus is just crazy. Right now. What that's I've seen cool. in the past is very different from what I'm seeing today. Ryan has lost weight. But gain some strength. Wow, that's what I'm trying to do, bro. Lose weight and gain strength. That's incredible. Reaching a level that surpasses any level that we've reached in previous camps. To continually improve and get better every day. Still looking good. What do you for that? Just the Starbucks mocha? Mm-hmm. Have you ever yogurt today or no? I ordered it for some reason they f***ed my order in that <laughs> We just got done blanching these carrots right here. Yeah, why didn't you stay a chef to do it? Come on, our brown rice blend, breaded rock, buttered on squash. We're gonna make wow. this into a puree. That's nice, man. I'm Chef Carlos. And how long have you been working with Ryan? Last year for the Fortuna fight is when we started working with each other. My philosophy oh, yeah, is eating cool. clean, healthy. We always get organic, of course. You know, you want to get rid of all the pesticides or anything that may be harmful to your body. Getting rich protein, which we always do, and uh, we want to see results, which we're getting. Give a little taste test. That's what we wanted. Mm -hmm. It's about four to five ounces of protein. Dude, I would have a female chef, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. With Ooh. the starch, we usually do three to four ounces of that and then a few ounces of whatever vegetable he's eating. Right now, he's cutting down, so we, we go up just a little bit below the normal, and he uh, seems to do really well with that. We're going to be back in 20 minutes. 20 minutes? 20 minutes. You heard Hey. Ryan's done training. He's coming back. We're all prepped up. Remember, in cooking, it's all about the prep. We want to time everything right. We're going to start searing the fish. Saute our veggies. 
Play everything up and make that's a beautiful nice, dish for you guys. Veggies. That's what I was eating. I'm cutting down too, know. so that's exciting. It's red. Hey, bro. He was working all hard, man. And that's how, that's how many meals does he get a day out one day, you know? That's Discipline cool, is everything, yes. Ryan. Super disciplined. One day he says, hey, you got to cut down on this, cut down on that. It goes down to him and how he's going to cut his weight and how he's feeling. Food's damn good. Carlos makes some good food. Weight's coming off. My body's performing well. And we're all doing a great job collaborating together to get the best result possible. <laughs> Dinner tonight. Good. We got some real nice beef tenderloin, aka fillets. Right, got a little mashed potatoes. We got our mushroom mix right here. We're gonna saute them with a little butter. We got our broccoli all blanched off. We're ready to fire everything. You have all the elements that he needs to be a top athlete. I just monitor my eating, keep assessing myself every time I take a bite, see if it worked, if it was enough, if it wasn't enough, and then make adjustments. You gotta evaluate yourself <laughs> and master yourself, because nobody's gonna know your body better than you. Yeah, bro, that's actually so true, bro. This guy sounds so wise, you know, but he's so young. That's good, I like that. So smart. I've been in boxing for a long time, and what I've learned over the years is really big fights are very complicated because there's a lot of financial interests. There's the interests of the fighters that want to fight, and then you have the networks that want to have the biggest stake in the event. A lot of times, big, big fights never happen because it's a complicated business. Fortunately for us, we were all committed to making the fight. It took about seven months to get done when both sides wow. are not. That's a long time, seven months just to make a fight. A lot of niggas will quit by then real quick. They'll just get them 30 days, you know, most, or even two weeks, you know, to sign the contracts. So seven months, that's half a year, bro. Because the fight is so big again, you know, Mayweather Pacquiao took almost ten, a decade or 15 years to make it. 100% happy, that means you got a good deal, because that's the way good deals make, where each side has to give up something. I thought that was Rayota Murata. So Tank definitely didn't want this fight at 140, which is a weight I'm very comfortable at. So he choosing to make me cut even more weight to 136 in hopes that it weakens me. When fighters cut weight, they lose. pounds, that's like almost two kilograms. And he's already a skinny guy and very tall, 5'10". Wow. Lose a lot of their fluids and strength. And if you don't have the proper proteins, uh, that it weakens me. When fighters cut weight, they lose a lot of their fluids and strength. And if you don't have the proper proteins, uh, to make up for it, you become very drained, and some boxers even faint during weigh-ins. Mm -hmm. So it's very uh, crucial. The last thing that hydrates into their system is their brain. That's why most of them get knocked out. So it's not like Tank has never fought at 140. He fought for a championship at 140. He declares himself as a champion at 140. So there's really no other reason for him not to do this other than he's terrified of what I could do. This is one thing. Yeah, because if you move up to 140, you have more power. You will have more power too, so. But he's a smaller guy, so it's probably easier for him to make 135 than it is where he wants you. Yeah, that's what he's trying to do, man, you know, because there's a lot of stake, man, a lot of money, a lot of stuff on an on, unbeaten on record, money, financial opportunities, you know, because once, whoever's going to be the winner of this, man, is going to be the face of boxing. I want to make clear to people, this is not me complaining. This is just me showing his integrity as a champion. If you're not afraid, then what's four pounds? Are you really afraid of four pounds? That's your kryptonite tank, four pounds? Never thought that. What they're calling the rehydration clause has to do with the next day weigh-in. And they wanted to make sure that Ryan's not going to be substantially uh, bigger or heavier than Davis. It's not enough that I have to drain myself to 136. He now needs to add that I can't gain more than 10 pounds the next day. If Ryan was what? just a regular... So he can't come in at 146, 147. So he can't come in like as a water weight. <laughs> He's trying to come in as a welter weight. Because if Ryan was a luxury, I'd rather probably come in as a super middle weight, bro. Even a middle fighter, there would be no concern. But because Ryan is an elite fighter, he's a knockout artist, among the best fighters in the world today, 
they want to take every step to try to control the amount of strength he's going to have the next day. I think that's just showing how much of a coward he is. How can you call yourself a champion and the next guy up if that's your character? You're just looking to be a star. You want to trick everybody to think you are that guy. You're not that guy. So that's how I know you aren't the person made for this. Because me, in your position, would never be that. <laughs> yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's true. You know what I'm saying? Why is he trying to make Ryan drain the weight? But <clears throat> I guess Ryan wanted it so much that he agreed to cut weight. You know? For Ryan, the truth is it doesn't matter because he's too disciplined to let the weight or the next day way and be a problem for him. You think it's it's just a working out thing, but it's more of a mental battle. And Ryan's so accustomed to it at this point that I truly don't believe it's going to affect him anyway. He just has a mission and he knows what he needs to accomplish. It's pretty much the same process, getting down to 140 and then understanding when you got to make that final cut. You don't want to do it too early because it's tough living in dehydration. That's why you have to pay attention to every moment, how much water intake, just so you can balance. Wow, you have to pay. That's the, bro, you got to pay attention to every moment, man. I like that. To make things a little bit more easier it's for kind yourself. Of thing, man. I drop a like. There's penalties that were negotiated for the weigh-in and there's penalties that were negotiated for the rehydration. The penalties apply to both sides. If Davis comes in heavy, which he has in the past, he gets penalized. If Ryan comes in heavy, he gets penalized. Why is someone in the rules? I am just let him fight. Hold yourself as a champion. And what that means is to hold yourself to truth and to do things with honor. That's what a champion is, what a great leader is. So that's what I want to show people that I'm that guy. He's not. Um, Ryan is young and explosive and fast. Javonte David is, is in his prime as well, man. So it's incredible. <laughs> is important during training camp. Nutrition, training, sleeping. And most importantly, <laughs> family. Some fighters, they don't even see the family until after the fight, you know what I'm saying? They spend the whole training camp away from family just to stay more hungry. No! Oh, man! <laughs> but I guess some people just do it because they want us more happy, you know, because as they say, a happy fighter is a dangerous fighter. Oh, oh. two-year-old <laughs> always keeps you grounded. You get better. Look at me. You shall not let fear control your mind. Fear is an illusion. See, it's fun. <laughs> Only focus on the troll. Look into the camera. Say, I'm. <laughs> the best. Yeah. <laughs> go on, little one, and remember what I said. Fear is an illusion. Now go run. Two of my dreams starts after I've beaten Gervonta Davis. And what, what were you feeling? What you for it? You for it? Like I was on cloud nine. And that everybody was coming at me, but I had that inner euphoria that nobody could feel other than myself. It was freaking awesome. They wanted it to end. So April 22nd, I will fulfill that dream. <laughs> <laughs> we are headed to another one of our strength and conditioning workouts. Doesn't matter how many times we've done this, we know we have to do it. This man's on point right now. You've been with me too long. Right now, we're about three weeks away, so we're getting ready to get our peak phase, all the explosive work. We've been doing it six years now. So when he comes in, I see immediately where he's at, and that's how we break our workout out for that day. You can't do anything about it. You just have to accept it. The best move you can do is to keep going. If you're going to stop during the workout, don't work out. Just wait for tomorrow. If your body needs that much rest, then get your ass home and sleep. 
Yeah, that's true. Man. Everybody you always wants to listen to your body. Man. If your body needs that much rest, then that's body. True. You just have to accept it. The best move you could do is to keep going. If you're gonna stop during the workout, don't work out. Just wait for tomorrow. If your body needs that much rest, then get your ass home and sleep. Can't snooze though, this is my time, you know? Everybody always wants to cut five to ten pounds it's the last week of the fight, but during that week, you lose your strength. We ain't losing no strength. We doing this the right way. He's eating right, he has the nutrition on point, we're doing the strength and conditioning on point. We're way ahead of schedule. We're ready to fight right now if we need to. We still got three weeks left. That's the crazy part. Keeping the focus, we keep it strong, we keep it powerful, we keep it explosive. Man, we just excited for this fight. Oh. All right, boys, that's it, man. I really hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure you leave a like, subscribe, if you're new, I'll catch you on the next video. And I'm out, baby. Peace.